What's up, Greg, Bridget, everybody in attendance here? Obviously, I don't like to give speeches because I'm not Diddy and I'm not trying to be all up in the video, but I had to make a video because I don't like speaking in front of people and it was almost to the point I didn't even come. So just because I love Greg, I made this video. Not only did I make the video because of that reason, but I also made the video because there's a lot of people that couldn't make it out to Paris that are also going to be on this video that wanted to wish Greg and Bridget a happy marriage and a long lasting enjoyable life with each other. So basically a long time ago I met Greg in high school. He tried to be on my kickball team but he was too small so nobody would pick Greg. He was a little tiny little baby little boy. It was only like four foot one. So when he was in the learning disability classes out by the portables. But I allowed him to be on my kickball team in PE one day and the rest was history. I used to get the ball handed off to me in football and I would give the ball to Greg and say, just run behind me little, little guy, just run behind me. And then moving on, we became bestest of friends. I moved to South Florida, got a job at the Office Depot headquarter office in Boca Raton, and I called Greg and said, hey Greg, do you like frying chicken at Winn-Dixie? Or do you want to move down south and start a new life with your buddy Dean? He said, fuck it, I'll do it. I'll leave tomorrow. I said, well, that's the spirit. You have a phone interview tomorrow at 10 a.m. So Greg does this phone interview, and it's probably the worst phone interview in the history of phone interviews for any job in the history of the job world ever. They asked Greg, what motivates you to get out of bed in the morning? And Greg said, when I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> that, was, that was Greg's answer. What motivates Greg to get up in the morning is when Greg has to go to the bathroom. So, the people tell me this is like the worst interview in job Office Depot history, but I still get them to hire this kid. He moves down, leaves his family, leaves all his loved ones. He might even have had a girlfriend at the time, left her too. Comes down to South Florida, does so well at Office Depot, he ends up becoming a manager there, a territory sales manager. And then, um, long story short, I end up moving back to Pensacola and Greg makes the decision to go and stay back down south. Office Depot closes, he gets a job at Wachovia Bank. They put him through school or I don't even know the whole story with that, but look at you now, you know? A lot of people in their speeches say, damn, you're lucky to have a girl like that. And we're not gonna lie, the first time we seen Bridget, we were like, damn, Greg really outkicked his coverage on this one because uh, she's like an 11. Greg's more like a seven and a half, you know? Personality probably bumps him up to a nine. You're my boy, Greg. So um, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit and I'm gonna say that Bridget, you're actually the luckiest person on earth to spend the rest of your life with a person like Greg. Greg is probably has the biggest heart of anybody I've ever met. And uh, you guys are really just lucky to have each other, you know? And from what I do know about Bridget and being around her, um, Greg and, and Bridget just have a great relationship. I remember when you guys were taking me to the airport and Bridget was telling me, um, Greg's probably the only person where I can just be myself and we act stupid around each other and goofy and, and dumb. And, you know, and that's, that's the key to a happy relationship is whoever you can be yourself with, whoever you can laugh with and cry with and joke with and you don't have to walk on eggshells with, that's the person you're supposed to be with for the rest of your life. And when, after that 
car ride to the airport that day, I knew that they were going to get married and they were going to be together forever. And it, it only comes on a, or comes around a certain amount of times that you find somebody like that. And I'm glad that Greg found Bridget. And Bridget, I'm glad that you found Greg. And I hope that you guys spend the rest of your lives together, have beautiful children together, and have the best night ever tonight together, because I know I'm going to. And uh, cheers. Salute. To Greg and Bridget, congratulations, guys. I'm very happy for the both of you, and I wish you both nothing but a lot of love and a lot of happiness. And to my boy Greg, man, what a journey it's been, my man. Very happy, and I'm very proud of you, bro. Just want to let you know that. We've come a long way from the Office Depot days to now. So congratulations, man. Enjoy this time, and see you soon, bro. What's up, Greg and Bridget? Congratulations on your wedding day. Sorry I couldn't be there, but duty calls here in Florida. I hope y'all enjoying your day, and uh, have a blessed one. Peace. Hey, what's up, Greg? What's up, Bridget? Um, I want to congratulate y'all on y'all's wedding. I hope y'all have a good one. And don't forget, Greg, to make it last. Uh, just remember, happy wife, happy life. All right. To Greg and Bridget. Congratulations. Have a happy marriage. And here's to a lifetime of happiness and good fortune from the Pablo family. Yay. Yay. Greg, what's up, bro? Bridget, hey, nice to meet you. I am Ronald Sway, a.k.a. Pondo. I don't know. I'm that crazy guy that a lot of people don't want to meet. But um, what you got my boy doing, man? You making him act a little different. Why you so different, boy? But anyways, cut all that out. I just want to wish y'all congratulations on your marriage. May y'all live in peace. Greg, what's happening, homie? It's been a hot minute, man. Uh, I'm glad you finally found your life partner. Um, you guys are holding it down. Y'all holding it down together. Uh, I wish I was there to celebrate with you guys, man. Uh, but I'm out here holding it down for you guys. Y'all celebrate for me, pour one up for me, and congratulations, all right? I want to say congratulations on hopefully what is a happy marriage. I hope y'all stay married a long time. I hope y'all have a wonderful marriage, all right? God bless y'all. Thank y'all for having Dean to come. Spice up the wedding. And good luck to both of y'all, all right? Peace out, Greg. She's I just want to say congratulations to you and Bridget on your marriage, and I want all the best for you. And um, I know y'all love some shy, and she loves y'all too. I just want the best of y'all. Congratulations, y'all. Hey, Greg and Bridget, congratulations on your wedding. I wish you guys the best, and my wedding advice to you is make sure you keep people out of your business. That's the number one rule for staying happy and staying married. Everything can be resolved in a home. I mean, there will be moments where you need to talk to people, but for the most part, keep your business to yourself. Congratulations, happy marriage. Yo, yo, um, FYI, I was joking about the learning disability. Greg probably could even watch the rest of the video because he thought everybody in the room thought he had a learning disability, but that was a joke. Complete joke. And he was probably a little taller than four foot one. But uh, again, love you guys. Thank you for having us out here in Paris. This place is beautiful. And um, closing out, Greg, <clears throat> you always tell me how proud you are of me and the fight business and everything I got going on. But, uh, I'm just as proud as you, man. Like you literally are the story of started from the bottom, you know, like you literally climbed your way up literally from that wasn't a joke frying chicken at Winn-Dixie 
to the VP of corporate banking. And um, I, I always brag on you to all my friends. So I just want you to know that and uh, congrats.